What's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and looks like it's time for another Route X High Speed Experiment race on Gran Turismo Sport. So after the R32 Skyline became great successful for having a good run for it. So next up is the Nissan Skyline GTR B-Spec 2 Nürburgring Edition and this time it's going to be a 2002 model with an R34 on it because this is going to be quite very excited to be able to have this paper JDM car because this time it's going to be quite very good improvement to be able to get a good high speed performance like any other Nissan Skylines to be able to go faster for it. So maybe this will be able to have a good settings to be able to have to take a good look on it. So looks like the power ratio is definitely going to be on 102. So this is going to be able to stick it in to see if it reaches on 103. That makes it into an N400. So this will stick it on to N300. So this will be able to have to get everything set up for it. So the suspensions always be the usual. Drivetrain will also contain with a few other LSDs to be able to have for only an all-wheel drive car. So the transmission gear is definitely to change to be able to have a six-speed transmission. So this will might be quite giving a good adjustment to be able to have a good top speed range for it. So everything is all set up, and then this time, time to go for for another Route X race to be able to get started for another test run for it. Because this is pretty good to be able to have three specific models of the Nissan Skylines. So this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have a R34 model to be able to race it in onto the track. So this is definitely quite a very good car and also to be giving a good improvement performance. Would like to be able to have some good adjustments on it. So looks like I'll be able to have to do two laps by now and this time this is going to be the usual to be able to race with group two cars. So this time this will be able to have a test to be able to get prepared itself. So this is going to be quite good to be able to have a shortcut penalty while collision and correct vehicle course after wall collision. So that might be able to have a next phase of test. So this will might be quite very good to get started to be prepared for one challenging race to be able to race on Route X. But to have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 model to be able to race in Route X. So this is definitely quite very good that everybody wants that R34 Skyline to be in the race with a good Route X variant. Because this is definitely quite pretty good to be able to have any best JDM cars to be used as a drag car to be able to, to be on the racetrack for it. So looks like it's about to get ready to be prepared. So let's get started for another test. So looks like Super G500s are about to take the head start until R34 Skyline is about to be ready for one good high speed race to get started for it. Because this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have a good experiment high speed test to see how fast can a R34 Skyline can go fast for it. So this is definitely able to have a good method to use any N300 car will be able to use to be able to stack up some more prime credits faster. So take a good look at the performance on the transmission gear. So this is definitely speeding up on 171 miles. So it also climbs up to be able to reach up until 175 to 180. So this is going to be quite excellent to be able to get ready to have a good high speed run test for it. So it's definitely the same thing like the Toyota Supra or the Honda NSX Type R and maybe any other N300 car with some good strong performance cars should be quite very good to be able to race hard to be able to catch up for it because it takes a lot of good draft to be able to have a good excellent performance for it so right now for the first climbing up attempt to be able to get a good speed range when on the uphill so stop at 176 so it's definitely able to go down on the ramp below to be able to reach until 190 miles is definitely going to be quite excellent for it. So this is going to be able to have a good gap distance to be able to reach up to be able to be performed for a 2 minutes and 30 seconds catching up while having a long, long straight to be able to get, get everything set up for it. So this is going to be able to speed up to be able to 
stay on this range for us because it's only on the 190 miles to be able to get a good catching up due to the downhill trend will get everything improved for it. So here we go. Looks like drafting is about to begin. Commencing a few passes and then this is going to be quite challenging without having any hits that should occur for a penalty. So this will be very careful because this is might be able to get a good challenge to be able to get ready for it. So maybe this will also be reminded because this is going to be quite giving a good test to be able to race hard and then this will be able to get a good racing experiment to be able to get some good drop on it. So this will make sure that this segment can also have to win this race without getting any hit, without getting a penalty, will be able to be very careful to be needed for it. Now, this is going to be getting a little bit riskier for it. Just want to make sure because this is going to be getting a little bit test to see this little effect on it. Just want to make sure that the penalty sign is definitely shown on the screen so nothing else to be seen without having a collision. So this is going to be quite okay to be able to get a good stake call for it. Now, looks like drafting in progress onto the first turn is definitely going on for it. So I hope that this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have a good test to be able to see how the R34 skyline is definitely able to catching up with a good speed be able to get a good run, be able to catch up on it. But it also provides a good tuning improvement. Would like to be able to give a good adjustment to be able to speed faster for it. And also the transmission gear would like me to get a better tune up. So if any GT players would like to be able to try out with the library variant and also require to be able to have some few perfect adjustment transmission gear that works perfectly on Route X. So this is going to be quite excellent to be able to get a good experiment to see how the progress of any other JDM cars would like to be able to go strong and very fast for it. So I kind of think that the NSX Type R is very fast JDM car in the N300 category range. Perfect for MR, drive range and any other all-wheel drive and FR vehicles could also might need a lot of tuning improvement like the NSX Type R as well. So, take a good look. After 19 GT500 cars have passed, looks like this will be able to reach up on one second gap. It's definitely able to go and get everything climbed up to go on the speed process. And then also the top speed range is definitely stopped at 187 miles per hour while on the long straight. That could be quite very perfectly same as any other cars would like to be able to get a good adjustment for it. Most of the high speed cars on the N300 category were giving a good boost to be able to use it in the money making method on the custom race. So this would like to give a good help to be able to get started for it. Now, looks like coming in on the second turn and still it will be proceeding in on the second and final lap. So it will be back on stopping at 180 miles per rain. We'll be able to get a good check on it. So this will definitely slow down at 185. So this will be very good to stay on its maintained range. So this will reduce it. So it will be able to be possible to slow down because keeping up the acceleration would might be giving you good help when you're staying at 185 miles at the same range on the turns. So this will go better specifically to be able to make sure because having a lot of tune-ups will give you some improvement to reach up to the perfect max speed will get a good advantage to see which of the top speed of any JDM cars would you like to see for a good efficient performance run to be able to get a good excellent run for a drag race. Now moving on to the final lap of the race because this may be able to come back for only point seconds up ahead because many younger opponents really want to make a good chance to overtake. Ok 
pace staying on 187 because it looks like this will be even a switch up onto the interior for you to see how it goes. So the kilometer is definitely shown, it's definitely reaching up at almost 290 kilometers. It's definitely able to show on its touch monitor, it's definitely shown for it. So it's definitely able to come back at 280 kilometers. So this is going to be excellent to be able to get a good look at the experiment on any other JDM cars because everything to be able to work up perfectly for. So the downhill effect would like to be able to reach up at 300 kilometers or more. So that will might be giving a good run to be able to reach upwards. That's definitely like almost reaching up 200 miles per hour. So it could be able to have a lot of hard work to be able to make a perfect race car or any other production vehicle would like to be able to have some adjustments to be able to reach up to 200 miles to 250 miles per hour would like to be able to get a good adjustment for it. It also provides a determined choice to see which of the top speed is definitely able to go for it. So I'm just trying to, to make sure because this will be able to have a good experiment car test during the gameplay or maybe in the online lobby race. Would like to see how fast does any of your favorite cars in the game would like to be able to get a good choice to be able to have a good fast car to be able to get everything successful for. So it looks like it's definitely shown on the 1.2 second gap because this is definitely able to get a little bit slow down decrease effect to be able to go back in. So this will might be able to stay at one second if this is might be able to get a good possible way to be able to save this gap. But it also goes back by the point nine seconds by a decimal point will be able to get a good choice to see it while racing it on the event. Okay, looks like it's going on the, on the tarmac long straight. It's definitely going on the clear. Just want to see if this is going to be able to get a good high speed opportunity to be able to get a good speeding on for it. It will have to be backed up on 187 miles, but only for a few minutes to be able to reach 188. Because it also takes a lot of hard work to be able to going fast to this car to be able to get a good straight speed to be used on the 30 km track. Now, looks like coming in for it. Hope the Super GT 500 cars are still going at it while making its way to catch up to the R34 Skyline. So pretty good for continuing on to have any JDM cars to be able to race on Route X to be able to use a better method vehicle to be able to earn credits faster. But only a racing on two laps or more if any other GT players would be able to go for it because that could be quite a good easy moment to be able to have better ways to get more credits faster for it. So maybe they should go with two laps so that might be getting a little bit better. So this will give a little bit total type of time be at 12 minutes. 12 minutes for only two laps is definitely quite to give everything going to be able to turn more than besides 1,000 credits. 100,000 credits will be able to get a good way to be able to have a good perfect screen for having a clean range bonus. So it looks like experience will be able to get everything leveled up for. So it looks like this is going to be able to have another practice test for the Nissan Skyline GTR V6 to R34 would like to be able to get ready for it. All wheel drive are definitely formed to be able to race on a long distance straight track on the 30km track to be able to go for it. So this is going to be quite excellent to be able to use the Route X library variant to represent the track to be able to have a good maximum horsepower to get everything adjusted to be prepared. 
So it looks like this is going to be good to take on the final stretch of the second turn. We'll be able to go straight at it. Because same thing as go, because staying at 185 would be quite tougher to master it. Because it also shows 184 miles, but so definitely quite getting a little bit decreased. So this will be able to do a little slow and steady while taking on the second turn on the first turn for it. Check your flag goes in, and high speed research test has complete. R34 Skyline did a good run for tonight. <laughs> so, looks like this is a pretty good race result to be able to show them for. 12 minutes and 30 seconds is definitely giving the total time for. And it looks like this is going to be quite very easier to be able to be very careful not to hit anything. So that will occur a penalty. So good news. Looks like I have finally level increased to level 44. That takes a few days to be able to stack up faster for it. So this is pretty good to be able to reaching up until level 45 for it. So looks like this is pretty good for an R34 Nissan Skyline GTR to be able to race on Route X. Because this is pretty enjoyable for having this good moment. To have this good segment for, for at least in the first place for it. Now, looks like this is going to be quite excellent to be prepared for, for the next custom race to be prepared to get ready for it. Because three Nissan Skylines from R32 to R33 and R34. So that will be quite very excellent to get started for only one lap per race. So this is going to be quite good to be able to get started for it. Three rounds, same track, and also three different models is definitely going to be prepared for tomorrow. So I hope that this is going to be quite good to be able to have three Skylines for only the next custom race on Route X. So this is going to be get ready to do the real test and this is going to be able to show which of the best horsepowers between three Nissan Skylines GTRs will give the good opportunities for some good route experience. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race and I hope you like this R34 Skyline with the route experience. So thanks for watching and before at the end of the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget to click the bell for some notification for uploads if you want to see. And also the links on the description down below if you really want to see more. So, looks like I'll be continuing on for the next custom race on Route X on GT Sports. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing. Stay cool.